do have uh, Japanese rednecks. Here's one with his lift truck. Uh, and he's even got some like a bandana hanging down from his, or feathers or something. It's kind of funny. See this, uh, and it's a diesel truck, which is actually probably getting better gas mileage than gas, or I don't know if it's getting better gas mileage, but cheaper gas. So it's kind of funny seeing this uh, LX Turbo. I want to see what the front looks like, but it looks really funny in the back here. It didn't even stop at the cross light. So maybe he's going to go right and I'll get to see the side of his car. See this uh, Japanese redneck. You know, rednecks are everywhere. And um, not just America. There's Japanese rednecks. They're very far, few and far between. I'm not sure if they listen to country music. Um, this guy just ran. I'm going to run this light too. Just ran a red light. Don't turn me in. Because I want to see if this guy... Uh, I want to... And you can tell he's redneck because he's blowing through lights and stuff. He didn't stop at, a, at the stop sign. Rednecks don't stop at stop signs. They just kind of go. And he just blew through a red light. And, um, you know, because they do their own thing. He's probably, uh, you know, yeah, he's going to go right. Cool. Get me, get to go by him. Check him out here. I'll go slow. Oh, no. He's going to go straight. Crap. I was hoping he was going to go right. So, uh, it actually looks like a woman in there. I can't tell that's a woman. Could be a woman. Toyota, full wheel drive. He's got the lift kit on it. Land Cruiser, diesel. It can hold, um, I wonder if it can hold uh, 400 uh, kilos. Maximum loading capacity, 400 kilos. Definitely redneck. You know, it's kind of an ugly. I like how it has the the partial back. You know, it has a little. It doesn't it does the double opening on it. So it's going away. It's going my way. I want to show you here. This is very interesting. Notice how this road curves. It's because of the rice fields. In Japan, in America, they would just like, you know, uh, force the landowner to give over the, not in Japan, ain't gonna happen. The rice field owner, the rice, the farmers here are gods. And the city uh, bends to their, you know, to, to when it comes to land, unlike United States, where now, because of the new um, executive order, uh, the Fed can come in and just take your crops, take your equipment, take your crap. That would never fly in Japan. They would have a whole bunch of uh, folks uprising and, um, you know, and as you can see there, the road bends around it. So it looks like a, it's a Land Cruiser. You all know what a Land Cruiser is. I was hoping to get a look at the person in the in their uh, Land Cruiser, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. You probably see this crazy guy gene, guy coca gene, sorry. Um, guy gene means foreigner uh, or not, guy gene means not, not Japanese, guy gene meaning not of Japanese origin, right? Non Japanese. Whereas guy coca gene means foreigner. So it's a uh, more uh, more polite to say, "Oh, you're a foreigner," or, or than you're saying, "Oh, you're not of Japanese descent." Kind of racism, right? That's why my friend King thinks um, Gaijin is kind of racist. Uh, the person is going my way. So we got 15 minutes. Some on time. This new way, I've figured out a new way to uh, go. It's much quicker. I save about 10 minutes. Which is kind of cool. Chasing down this uh, Japanese redneck with the lift kit on their truck. Probably lives in Fukui. 
That's what I'd like to get. I'd like to get like a truck like that. Actually, I want to get, wow, he's going to turn. I may have a chance to see him. Uh, probably not, because that truck, crap. Look at that truck. I'm going to hit a bump and that big old rock is going to go off. You know, in America, you'd have to probably cover that, I would think. I think you'd have to do the same thing in Japan, but maybe you can get away with it. So, here's the river. It's actually pretty full. Um, you know what? I didn't go down and check on the bees, which I should have done, because um, I got to keep an eye on that river in case I have to emergency evacuate my beehive to the levee, which is just when, you know, it's only 10 feet, but still. Other, otherwise, it'd be floating away. Big old dump truck. It's weird. He came down this side and he's going down the other side. Or he's dumping it somewhere. <clears throat> that is all the wiring they have in Japan. This, that's what's really ugly that the, their wiring system just got like, it's just kind of like, let's just jerry rig this wiring together. You can actually see the blue cable and the orange. I bet that's fiber optics up there. Right? All in there. That's the one thing that I don't like about Japan is their friggin' uh, overhead wiring. I wish they would, um, you know, put it in the ground or something, but I guess that's that would take too much work to do, more expense. The other thing is the juxtaposition of um, that house is for sale. Interesting. The juxtaposition of corrugated siding, like there, right? And um, I want to go this way. This is my new way to the school. Kind of a back way, like a back cave. They opened up this road just recently, like last week. So I can actually kind of go the back way. And this is the one way that gets me that little narrow road out. So this is the back way. Oops, I may have gone the wrong way, but that's okay. Here's a nice looking house here. The guy checking me out. I like that house. It's kind of cool. These are nice houses here. In here. Yeah, that worked. Where I want to turn right here. So this road is sometimes sometimes I miss it and uh, I run into problems. See, even in in the city, look, that's a rice field in Fukui City. Well, so one of the last remaining rice fields in Fukui City, I bet. And here's another one. So rice field here. It actually has rice in it. <clears throat> I think he's going to be digging out. I don't know why they have that there. This guy's always flooded. And it's funny because he has a notice there. I don't know what that notice means. But this thing is always filling up with rain. You dig the canals, you notice he has canals in here. That's to help get rid of the water, right? for drainage but doesn't it just is, is always filling up and he's not filling it up so it's coming from that from the rain or something so obviously this this uh, he had planted some stuff down there it's all dead see all the stuff on that one row there it's all drowning so his uh, attempt to drain that field that tumble is not happening I bet it's just too much water for even the rice who knows they need to actually put more dirt in it so here I'm at school, got 10 minutes to spare. I don't know if you can see that there, 10 minutes to spare.